If you even took the time out of your day to purchase this, you're just a nice guy. I think it smells good fresh after a while it's it's soured a little bit this is like a guy that would like act tough but he's like a big teddy bear oh i don't even know how to describe this one i like it though like if we're about to kiss then i smell it but i don't like it so we, we never kiss <laughs> Hi everyone, Teddy here. And I'm Courtney, and today we have a group of women blind reacting to popular men's fragrances. So in this video, and if you're not familiar with these blind reactions, listen up because this is important context. This is done blind. And for that, really what we're doing is not giving them a sense of what the bottle looks like, no branding, they don't know anything about it, the packaging, can't see anything other than two strips they're going to get. One was sprayed 10 to 30 seconds before uh, we handed it to them, and the other one was going to be sprayed one hour before they sat down to give a sense of the dry down. They'll also have a cup of coffee grounds near them if they need to reset uh, their nose, if they're starting to get fatigued. And then no skin test here. We wanna ha have a really nice baseline for everybody that's sitting down. Don't wanna have any outside influence of seeing the individual that they're smelling the scent off of, and also dealing with different types of skin chemistry. But guys, without further ado, let's jump into the video. I love number one. I love it. But I must say this, I feel like if you, a little goes a long way. Love it. Don't overdo it. And they both smell the same. We love longevity. I would go on a date with this guy. He smells like he just cleaned his hair. Like he's, no, he smells like he's just got a clean cut. He's wearing a nice iron shirt. And we're gonna go on a nice late lunch because he's a businessman. This is not good. It's like almost good, but it's not. It's like it smells good when you f when it first hits your nose, and then like a second later, something is just off. Like a little bit, a little bit plasticky, carpety. It's just not it. I think if a guy was wearing this, you're a clean dude. Nothing too scary. Like I think that would wear pretty well on someone. So that's like a classic. You can probably wear that all year round, go-to scent. I like this, it smells younger to me, like that's my first thing when I think. But I would definitely want my husband to wear this. It's like fresh, clean, happy, springy, summery maybe. <laughs> I like this one. Okay, I don't like this one. If you're a guy and you're wearing this, it's not bad. I would not think that it's bad. I do think it's not my type though. It smells like nail polish remover. Dried down, it smells a little more, like there's a little more substance to it, but yeah, there's just no like, there's no substance. You're kind of, it's like an afterthought. You didn't do it purposely. Freshly sprayed one, honestly, no. I just don't recommend this. I feel like this smells like if you were to take your dog out on a walk and you were to come back inside, you'd be smelling the whole damn round earth. I think it smells good, fresh. After a while, it's it's soured a little bit. Like grass a little bit, but maybe I'm losing it. Um, it but it smells like earthy, more like outdoors. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I wouldn't pick it for my husband for sure. Number three smells okay at first. It smells like horse shit after a little bit, like, like barn. This isn't my favorite. I would just say this is a bad choice. This one's a little sweeter. Ooh, the dried down though is a little more like a warm home. So yeah, I feel like I would like to snuggle into that maybe. This is like a guy that would like act tough, but he's like a big teddy bear. That's, that's a teddy bear scent. A lumberjack would wear this. Okay, a lumberjack who has been cutting down trees and he has a, he has a husky. This reminds me of something I would wear when I was younger, like almost a body spray scent. So maybe somebody who wants a lighter scent. It's definitely light. I don't think it's like a, like a very heavy, a heavy scent. Mothy, no, I feel like 
I don't know, mildew a little bit in the background? Like you left your clothing in the washer for too long? Like just a backdrop of it. Like wintery, like cozy up with like warm layers. I don't know, that's what it makes me think of. Like vanilla maybe a little bit, but not in the bad vanilla. I like this one. Ooh, <laughs> I like this one. This lifts my mood. A successful man, who, but he's not too cocky about it, I think. He's gonna break my heart, but, <laughs> but he smells really good. And it smells even better after a while. I don't think I would like a guy wearing this perfume. Cinnamony, warm. Do I want my guy to smell cinnamony and warm? No. Like it smells like a sleazy, sleazy guy. So I don't like the way it smells when it's first on, but I really like the scent of it after. So I'm sure if you did a little spray and did a little, and a little, it'd be perfect. I like number four. This is a scent maybe like your aunt would buy you trying to be really nice and trying to upgrade your dating life maybe. And it was just a miss. I feel like this guy would kind of be like a little sh more reserved and like unsure of himself. It's an unsure scent. When you first spray it on, no. But when it's been sitting there, it smells good. If you put too much, it smells bad. So you gotta spray just a little bit. It's like just a hint. Like, like you'll only smell when I'm like up again, like if we're about to kiss, then I smell it. But I don't like it, so we, we never kiss. <laughs> like upscale uh, public restroom. Might have like an attendant in it. It's, it's good. I would definitely respect this as a choice for an everyday. It's not too strong. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit musky. Almost like disinfectant, <laughs> like something I would clean with. I don't think I could, I don't know. I can't think of somebody that I would recommend this one for. Okay, I love this for many reasons. It's gentle, but for two, it smells like a man that knows how to do his laundry. And we like that. Clean, fresh, muscular, ambitious. And if you're wearing that, I'll pay the bill for you. This one smells good, fresh. I like the one that sat a little bit too. I think more with this one, it's like, like a neutral, safe fragrance is the best way I could describe it. Oh, uh, this is also, I don't like, if you don't wear cinnamon perfume if you're going on a date. I'd say purchase this cologne if you are an outdoorsy man, man. Not because you want it to be known, but because this is something you would literally wear. Like it's not like you rubbed bark on you, but I love it. This is another scent that like, I would probably wear. It's a little more in the androgynous zone, I would say. I'm almost getting like, Hints of coffee on the dried down one. I like this one. This one's, this is like refined skater boy. He's, ni he's nice, he gets good grades. Hopefully he's not in school, <laughs> but <laughs> when he was in school, he did get good grades. Maybe he was a swimmer. You know, I, I got a whole picture. I like this guy. I want to meet the man who wears this. This is like husband material. Okay, this just makes me happy. I feel like if you even took the time out of your day to purchase this, you're just a nice guy. You're just a nice, cute guy. Sour, but not like milk sour, like sour, like sweet sour. This seems like a scent that like a little kid would pick out, like a little boy trying to have some cologne. Childish, absolutely immature. 
Okay, this is giving me some fresh scent. Okay, this guy, he's handsome, he's tall. He's a jock. He's like the guy that picked out a perfume to cover up all his smelly smell. And he probably is going on a date with you and didn't shower, so he just sprayed this on his armpits. I, I, compared to the others, it's just not as great. It's still okay, it's, it's um, a little fruity. Um, it's a strong scent, a little gingery. <laughs> Not like ginger, like a person, like ginger, ginger, like ginger. And maybe smells like you're trying a little bit too hard. I would definitely want my husband to wear this one. This one's good. It smells expensive, but in a good way. Number one's my favorite, sexy clean cut businessman. You know what, number three is the worst one actually. It just doesn't, it smells like shoes. Lily's favorite was the bathroom, which was five. I think I like won the best. Yeah, this one's just like sturdy. This is a sturdy dude. because it's a very pleasant smell and it's not intimidating and I feel like this would just go with a really nice guy who's cute maybe doesn't know it and has a really bright future oh it's like I'm I already have a story in my head I'm just gonna wear this I don't like one one is my least favorite it's just it's try hard it's basic it's too strong I love, love number one. If you live in like downtown Miami and you own like this cool penthouse that has more than three rooms and you don't have any kids and you're basically probably a CEO running like Gerber's Babies or something, I don't know, but something crazy and great and you're doing well in life. So number three, unfortunately was a no-go because it smells very musty and old. It's seven, definitely. It's like sexy, but not like too confident. But I know what I'm doing, like I love this one. Yeah, I would say five's my least favorite for sure. It just to me does not smell like somebody I want Someone I'm attracted to, for sure. All right, guys, that is all we have for this video. If you like this format of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That signals to us that you like this style of video and want to see more in the future. And of course, be sure to subscribe. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. And we'll see you all next time.